What's up, everybody? About to make a biltong box out of an old crate. So I found this. I'm going to make a biltong box out of it. All right. Now, all you need is this light cable and an extension cord, and you make this extension cord into a... a wait, let's make sure I'm cutting the right one. Um, into a death cable. Death cable completed. And now, uh, I guess I'll, I'll piece these things together. Now, watch how quickly this goes together. How did that happen? Blammo! <laughs> Here's how it happened. All right, and now for my next trick. Oh brother, would you plug in my death cable? <laughs> Can you not use the one way you can charge our stuff? Light globe? Light bar. Light bar. There we go. It should work. Oh, well, that's not how it's done. <laughs> I'm so fast to fail again. One more time. And then he said, let there be light. And there was light! So there's a bulb done. Watch out, don't touch the cables at the back because that's how you die. Ooh, that's nice and warm as well. That's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. A nice warm... Rush. <laughs> Isn't that what happens? People put a light globe in and themselves and, they... and then they can't pull it back out because it shatters? Because it's solid in one direction? That's <laughs> fake. God, I said one direction. They haven't been a thing for a while, I would say. Now on to step 14.8. And now a USB desk fan made out of real desk. Perfect mundos. Warranty. Don't need that. Gonna rip it apart anyway. I might. <laughs> hey, you eat your stinky cheese. <laughs> no, get that away from me. <laughs> Alright, so we have this desk fan that we can... Ooh! Look at that! It has two blades. Yeah. God, this is gonna be more advanced than anything I've ever made. Yeah, so it has like a USB and stuff and it does like the things. So that just uh, like fits in there. But we're gonna just mount this. I'll probably use some epoxy. And uh, you'll see in a second. See, check this out. This is it happening. Blam! Now the first step to making the built-on box is you need to clean it out. Right, a little sheet of plexiglass. Just get all the edges, because they'll be screwed down, won't be able to access them later. There's just no way that we can win. It was a masterpiece. He rocks too hard because he's not a mortal man. Damn it, Cage. I'm gonna make it his sex slave. You're gonna goggle them. Now this is the frame that we're gonna be using for the plexiglass door. All right. Now this is snapped, so I just need to fix this quick, which is pretty easy fix, just a couple of screws. There we go. Not as good as new. It's like 30 degrees out here. I don't know why I decided to do it today. Um, but I did. Um, I guess because I didn't sleep all last night watching uh, the Masters golf tournament. Shows you how boring I really am. Let's go. And now it's time for plexiglass magic. Bam. Magic. Just do this ever so slightly. Actually, let's line this up first, all right? All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. As per usual. Hasta la vista, plastic. Now we can move on to the fun stuff, which isn't isn't fun, but we're going to do it anyway. Well, that snapped pretty easily, didn't it? Voila, box. Uh, so basically what I've just showed you how to do is uh, build a box, it's not necessarily a built-on box, it's a box with a clear front, uh, I guess you could put anything in it, um, it doesn't have to be built on, um, I mean this has a little sharp bits out the front so it'll definitely keep children out, um, if you don't want children like getting into your, your box thing here, I mean you could put in like, a, I don't know, like a big bo bottle of alcohol or like, or like some flowers or like um, a, a break glass in case of emergency thing, um, and it could be, have like a, a beer in there. All right, so now all I need to do is just install the hinges. It's gonna split for sure, yes. Yeah, she'll be right. Too much of that going on in Australia of the she'll be rights. Now if I just get my left leg over my right shoulder, 
Well, normally people would drill a hole here, right? Not me. Box sorted. See, now this is where uh, you can keep your kids if they're acting up. Just uh, shove them in here, no water, no food for about 48 hours, and they should uh, germinate and mature nicely. It might have been a bit much. Damn, I'm a genius. All right, and now to put in the rack for the top. I'm just gonna drill some holes, and I'm just gonna chuck this across the top. I'm just gonna skip straight to it. We've all seen people drill holes. All right, so I've made four holes, which will mean four racks across the top. And now to install the fan and fan and light down low. We'll probably put a vent somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. Now here you are. Four racks, just with holes through there. I'm gonna plug all that up. Probably use a little bit of epoxy, something along those lines. I could just use silicon. As we come around to the back side, we're gonna put the little lamp in, which is not even a heat lamp, but you know. Normal globes run pretty hot anyway, so I think it'll be enough. Um, so, as you can see, I made this death cable by myself. <laughs> I think we're gonna go get some electrical tape and tape that up a little bit. Um, yeah, that's just gonna go right here. That goes straight through there. And there we go, just like that. You have a death cable coming out the back of a... Uh, sharp and dangerous box. Honestly, I, I never said it'd be good or safe at all. I just said it'd be a biltong box. It's gonna kill me. And now for the fan. This was like, I don't know, I think eight bucks from um, Bunnings or somewhere like that. So uh, I'm just gonna have it constantly on. Just got two switches. Right here, one, two. It's always gonna be on two. You just plug it into the USB whenever you want it. So this is gonna be the only thing I'm gonna measure out. Um, just because I probably should. I don't need a reason. You know those scenes in James Bond? And that is done with power tools. That's it. So it's that. I'm just going to epoxy that straight onto there just to give me some ventilation. Um, and I'm going to put some, got a little bit of mesh over here that I can just rip up and put over there. Um, I might put a secondary vent in there. All right, so for my next trick, I'm just gonna use some two-part epoxy. Epoxy is mouth shut. Epoxy is mouth shut. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> They've tried. <laughs> Coat that around here. If I just get my left leg over my right shoulder, <laughs> nobody will ever know what that reference is from because I assume my audience isn't 60 or above. 1930s. <laughs> yeah, it's 1930s, isn't it? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm getting glue everywhere. Ah, panic! Probably isn't good enough, but she'll be right. I never said I was the neatest epoxia, or the straightest epoxia. Yeah, she'll be right. And now because I'm lazy, I've got some uh, mesh in a tape square. Blam! That's the vent done. Low expectations. <laughs> Lead to good results. Fan installed, vent. We got these. All right now to follow suit, let's go tape them. Blam, white globe. There we go. Whoa, that's nice. Nice little breeze coming in there. And now he said, "Let there be light." Oh yeah! And that is how you make a biltong box out of scrap that I found underneath the house and a few little components and a whole bunch of power tools. Now I'd show you the rest where I actually make the biltong but uh, you're not getting my recipe. Alright so that's been my tutorial on how to build a biltong box that is uh, mainly tape I would say. There's a large portion of this that is actually tape. Um, Really easy to do. So if you like my videos, um, there's some other dumb stuff I've done. I made a bungee cord out of um, rubber bands. So uh, if you like that, check it out. It'll be in a thing here or... I don't know how this works yet. I'm pretty new to this whole thing. 
So if you like it, check it out. Big H out. Hey guys, get prepared for my next video, which I made a spear out of bamboo and I go spear fishing. Okay, fine, just a quick preview. Here we go. Piltong spices, obviously that's a thing. And uh, the secret ingredients are in there. Um, I'm making trovos, and there's also beef underneath here that, um, that has been shredded. So I'm making some skokies and some trovos. God, I'm so bad at the accent. <laughs> so I'll marinate this for 24 hours, depending on if I forget about it or not. And then it'll go straight into the dryer for, I don't know, maybe like four, four, four to six days. Kronka, lunka, lunka, din, din. You should not ask about the secret ingredient. And now into the fridge for 24 hours. The meats have been marinating for about 24 hours, probably less. I got lazy and couldn't be bothered doing them for longer. We'll never tell you my secrets. And presto majesto, we have beautiful biltong and drovos made out of venison. <laughs>